With less sunlight available, trees begin to shut down their food factories, aka their leaves. First step, stop producing chlorophyll. And when chlorophyll breaks down, it reveals the other pigments that were hiding underneath all along. Carotenoids, orange or yellow. Yes, like in carrots. Anthocyanins red or purple, made during the breakdown process. It's like a green curtain lifting to reveal the colorful cast backstage. Trees aren't just changing colors for Instagram likes, it's survival strategy. Leaves are great for gathering sunlight, but they're terrible at handling freezing temps. Ice crystals can destroy the delicate leaf tissues, so trees drop them to conserve water and protect themselves. Before that happens, the tree reabsorbs nutrients from the leaves, like a squirrel hoarding snacks, and then lets them go in a dazzling farewell show. Not all trees play along. Evergreens, for example, don't shed all their leaves. Their needles have a waxy coating and less surface area, which helps them survive the winter. It's like nature's version of a ski jacket. Scientists believe that some red pigments might act as sunscreen for the leaves, protecting them as they break down chlorophyll. Others think it's a signal to insects. Hey, I'm healthy. Don't lay eggs on me. Either way, fall foliage isn't just pretty. It's strategic. Why does it happen more in some places? Places with dramatic seasonal changes like New England have the most epic leaf shows. Cold nights plus sunny days equals bright colors. In warm, tropical climates, trees don't need to shed as much so you don't see the same technicolor drama. 